This is one of the most important and helpful magnification features to have turned on and it will easily allow you to be able to zoom in and type at the same time. In this video, I'll show you how to set it up and how much of a help it can be. For a full written explanation of what's covered in this video, check the description box below after watching. This is my favorite magnification feature and it allows me to easily type out text messages email, Google searches, and more without having to use voiceover, Siri, or Dictate. This is called smart typing and it basically allows you to zoom in on what you're typing so you can see it easily, but it doesn't magnify the keyboard so that you can still type. Here's how to get it set up. First, you're gonna ask Siri, open accessibility settings. Then select zoom, which is the second option. At the top, make sure it's turned on and then turn on follow focus, which is the next option below. From there, you'll get a pop-up to turn on smart typing and you're gonna want to turn that on as well. That's all you have to do in your settings. And now whenever a text field appears, it will automatically switch to window zoom and that zoom region will follow the cursor as you type, but it won't magnify the keyboard so that you can easily type still. To show how this works, I have an example text message here, and you can see that I have the full screen zoom turned on, but when I touch into the text field, it's gonna switch to a window zoom over the cursor, but my keyboard below is not magnified. So now as I type, the window zoom is gonna follow where the cursor is. If you're like me and you can't see the keys on the keyboard, this will require you to memorize the layout of the keyboard, but with just a bit of practice, this isn't too hard. Now get practicing with this feature and see all the ways that it can help you. Check out one of these videos here to learn more about iPhone magnification features and subscribe for more content like this.